The beauty of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge keeps getting better and better with the added functionality of the curved edge screen. Let's take a quick dive and make sure that you're getting the most out of this one of a kind screen. Hopefully you guys were able to catch the last video that I did on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge talking about tips and tricks and some of the things that you might not know how to do on this cool phone. So I'm going to leave the link right up inside the YouTube card so you can check that video out if you missed it. And if you missed it, that probably means you're not subscribed so you should take care of that as well. So for today we're going to be talking about all the functionality that you have available on the Edge screen. This is a really cool thing for me to start trying because I was coming from a Note 4 and I did not have the edge screen before so this was awesome it also taught me that I can start clearing things off of my home screen because I don't need them now they can be neatly tucked away inside the edge screen so let me show you three different ways that I've been making the most out of this cool functionality I'm going to start with my favorites the edge panels these panels provide access to your favorite and most used apps task shortcuts contacts and more going in order I'll show you the options for personalizing these to access the settings of the Edge screen, you can click on the Settings button on the lower left-hand corner. Inside these settings is where you can first change the Edge panel handle settings, so the position, size, and transparency. Going back to the panel options, here's where you can choose which panels are active, their order, and then even to download additional options. Now I only have four active panels right now, but I've noticed that I've been switching these around a bit as I've found what works for me. My first active panel is the Apps Edge. In the settings, you can choose apps that you frequently use to literally have them at your fingertips when you pull the Edge tab over. Next is the People Edge. You can add in your most important contacts to check notifications about them on the Edge screen, and it's an easy way to call or even to send a message their way. And an even cooler feature, which is why I love this tab so much, is coming up. I also like to have my schedule for the day available, so this is my next panel. This will grab the appointments from your calendar, so no additional setup is actually needed for this. And then we have the weather. Yes, self-explanatory, but again, it's easy for me to get to and it's not something that I have to have on my main screen. Some of the other panels available include things like location-specific shortcuts, task ed, then you have stocks, sports scores, news, frequently used websites, Compass, and even Samsung Milk Music. Now, if you wanna grab some other cool panels, just click on download and check out what's available. Some of them are free, but others are available for purchase. One I know that I'm going to be grabbing is the Edge playlist for Spotify Premium because this is really going to come in handy for me. Another cool feature of the Edge screen is the Edge feed. So instead of lighting up your entire phone, you can swipe your finger back and forth along the edge when the screen is off to then see the tiny display of helpful information like your missed calls, messages, sports scores, and even news updates. The last feature to take advantage of is the edge lighting. As we talked about earlier, your contacts in the People Edge panel have colors assigned to them. You place your phone screen down and it will glow with the corresponding color to the person who's calling or texting you. This is helpful if you're in a meeting, dinner out, or someplace where you don't want your screen lighting up and disturbing you or anyone else. These are three easy ways for you to get started with the Edge screen on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So if this video has been helpful for you, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe because there's new videos out every single week. And I do have to give a big shout out to everybody who has been connected with me on the comments, maybe even on Twitter or on Snapchat. I'm gonna leave my code right there. And I'll also leave all of the links to my social platforms inside the description because a quick story on Kyle from England. He actually reached out to me on Snapchat to tell me all about his brand new Android Wear watch, which is the Moto 360. So I was so excited to talk with him and just hear all the different ways that the videos have been helpful for him, but also hearing what he would like to see in these videos coming up. So if there's anything that you want to see in videos or just hang out, connect with me, those are gonna be the best places to do it because I always love commenting back. And again, it's just the best way for me to get to know you and you get to sometimes see the sillier side of me and all the different things that kind of go on behind the scenes when there's not a video coming out. So make sure to connect with me on those channels and hopefully I will see you back next week. Bye-bye.